You ready, B? No fear, Mr. Organic is here. Shout out to everybody in the Organic Nation, everybody in the Gargoyle Gang. You see, I got my shape. Ah, I'm gonna go hop in the truck with Slim, head to the gym. Cause you, as you know, it's snowing outside and I can't drive the vet and that, you know what I mean? So, I can show y'all, man. You know what I'm saying? Blizzards is crazy, man. So see what's going on, man. You see my city. So, hop in the truck with my dog. You hear that? That's the truck. Come on, man. <clears throat> hop in the truck with Slim. And then, um, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna talk about a few things, man. Keep you updated with a few shits and that and that and there. Drink your shakes, man. Shout out to everybody in the organic nation, everybody in the gargoyle gang for you. Come on, man. Chilling that rotator, eating goddamn lamb, fresh goddamn goose meat. You know what I'm saying? Rice, straight from Napoleon. Come on, man. And, uh, you know, fresh vegetables for the garden to eat. And there go my dog Slim. Exactly what's up, man. See what's going on. We in Rotiti, man. Y'all nothing about this place, man. It's a special place, man. We come here and eat all the time. Shout out to my dog right there. He a cool motherfucker, man. We just chilling, man. My dog Slim going to L.A. Look at mm -hmm. him. Huh? So we on the way to the gym getting L.A. ready. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Nigga gonna be on the beach wearing Speedos and all that. Nigga, it's crazy. Yeah, that's what he said. Now he's trying to tell me. I'll be wearing Speedos. I'm like, nigga, Speedos? God damn, Slim. <laughs> Never. Shout out to those little quick ones there. Yeah. Never. Big bull rap, motherfucker, out there. <laughs> yeah, big bull rap. Just <laughs> <laughs> imagine that shit, big seven foot nigga walking off. Man, I did. Everything's trying to motherfucker go crazy, but yeah, man, that's dope, man. How's it feel knowing that you really, really going to the top of the mook, brother? Yeah. Big scary. Big nervous, huh? Big motherfucker, man. Sure. <laughs> it, gotta, it gotta happen, man. That's you it. Gotta do it. My mental leaps of faith have to be taken, man, in order to get where you want to go. Yeah, people say if, you, if you're not afraid of your dreams or your passions, you're not, you're not. Um, you're not going hard enough, you're not enough. dreaming big enough. That's true. You know that what I'm saying? saying? That shit gotta be appalling. Like, that shit gotta be shuddering in your dream. Like, ooh, shit, man, man, man. Like, and when you're talking to people, they gotta be like, ain't no way. Yes. How could that happen? Yeah, like, okay, nigga. But see, the blessing of it is that for what we do, and the people around us, the people that know us, they understand. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they feel that's the best move. You know what I'm saying? Especially for you right now. So Everybody in my circle, it was like, effortless. It was like, you gotta go. So we right. Even Kim. So look, understand this. I was talking to my brother the other day, right? And my brother was like, it's crazy because it's like you know you're making the right move because when I came out of prison, right? And I told everybody I was going D1. Yep. I just got out of prison. I ain't never hooped in college. Crazy. Or in high school. Un middle school. None of that shit, right? Never. Yeah. I think maybe once when I was like elementary, you know, big Did you graduate week. from high school like in at the school? And what? Like, did you graduate from high school at school? Like, no, no, I, in prison. I that's what I did. Yeah, 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 that's crazy. I went to, I went to high school for like, you know, like a week. Mm -hmm. huh? Dropped out, kind of went back and forth for all yeah. the schools. That's crazy. But I got out of prison, and I told everybody I was going to go D1, right? And I remember after I beat up one of my teammates, the coaches had me in their office uh, at the first college I went to, it was a D3 community college. And, uh, they just like, man, what are your plans? Like, what are you going to do? I said, fuck you mean, I'm going to go D1. They <laughs> laughed at me, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. They laughed at you, right? They laughed at me, clearly. Ha <laughs> ha. Let's be a little more realistic. That's what he said to me. Damn. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because like, you had a D3 I'm paraphrasing college. a little bit, but yeah. I was at D3 junior college, the weakest one in Minnesota by far. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Big about. week. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. And, uh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? and they laughed at me. You know what I'm saying? I was like, all right. I went D1. It was all on my dick. And he, the coach even emailed me like not too long ago once That's I started doing YouTube. That's Sent me pictures. He probably was hoping I'd post it because it was me dunking in it. And it was a good picture. Delete. I would never post that about y'all. Y'all wouldn't even have your jersey. I don't want you saying nothing that you did anything to help me. <laughs> well, they didn't. You didn't even say the name. No, I would never. <laughs> you got to do your research if you want to figure all that out. Because <laughs> I ain't going to tell nobody. Do your Googles. Yeah. But I don't even want to mention the Central Connecticut school. But the reason why is, you know, obviously I went D1. You know what I'm saying? And what you know, was that? Was that so this is Connecticut or the, the cop the one when you uh, threatened the coach? Come on, let's fight and all that. I don't know what you're talking about, brother. Oh, I, I'm talking what too much. Talking about? My bad. Man. I don't know what you're talking about, My man. bad, I went a little too far. I don't know what this guy, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> you told a nigga we can square up. Hey, brother, look, look, look. Oh, my bad. <laughs> 
Maniac, man. I don't know what you're talking about. Leave this man alone, man. Don't play with this dude. I don't know what this man is talking about. Don't think I'm crazy. Don't play with this dude. You see him, just have a conversation because you never do. Leave that man alone. I don't want no problems with that nobody. Boy, that boy there, motherfucker. I'm, I'm a scared, fine, pussy yeah. bitch motherfucker, man. I don't want no problems. Too, he a successful man. That's all of them. <laughs> Too successful for the fuck me. That's all. No, but seriously, though. <laughs> this right here was kind of like... Like, if you would've told me I'd been doing all this, I was actually talking to Kim today about this shit. Right. Like, if you would've told me when I was in prison when I first came home that I'd be doing some shit like this, man, I'd be like, man, get the fuck out of here. Like, I would, I would sure. hope you'd dream for shit like that, you yeah. know what I'm saying? But you wouldn't actually, you know what I'm like, living, I'm living realistically right now. Don't bring that shit up to me. But, but at the same time, you're dreaming too, right? Of course. You know what I'm saying? So it's just like, I don't know, but now that I'm like here and I'm doing Brother this got shit, big it's crazy. dreams, the big dreams. Yeah, raised boom boom room. It was like that's you know how he was talking about it. It's like, yeah, visualize it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I have a Hellcat, big so, ass truck. Imagine if Ray would have actually opened that boom boom room. Oh man, it would have been popping. You see what I'm saying? Look at who yeah, look at all the people he had in that room. That's what I'm saying. That's how I feel doing this YouTube shit, and I love this shit. You know what I mean? Like now I know what people mean when they say like when you're doing what you love, it won't feel like work. You right. Know what I'm saying. Never do. Yeah, but editing this shit be feeling like work sometimes. But I love the, the the passion of filming it. I love meeting people. I love inspiring people. I love motivating people. I love cars. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Like, I love all this shit that I'm doing that I'll show y'all. So, so it's Ooh, definitely, it's a, it's a blessing every single day that we get to do this. Especially interaction with our fans, like, for sure. And our supporters. That's the best shit ever. If you see them good comments, you know, the people that really you change their lives or they happy for you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? That's just like, man. It's a purpose, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. It's a purpose behind this shit. It's deeper than just us doing something. Yeah. It's like we really helping people out. And people people get to see this shit and, yeah. and witness it firsthand. They growing with us. They mm -hmm. part of our journey, you know what I'm saying? They're not just watching it, they living it they living through us and yeah, with us. And, and let's just call it what it is, man. Listen. All these other YouTubers who are doing this car shit, vlog shit, a lot of this shit on YouTube, man, they were already rich. If they weren't already rich, they were well off. They had mommy, daddy money. They had something. Something. You know what I'm saying? Like to help them boost them up. Right. This is purely from the mud. Yeah. The, the little bitty ass seed. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Always from that seed, man. Man, seriously. You know what I mean? And then built it up over time. You know, but nothing was handed. Nothing was given. Uh -huh. Like you know, everything was taken. Yeah. So, I don't. Man, it's just it's just it's a different magnitude of iconicness to me when you really come from nothing. Right. Versus you know a lot of these people out here who be trying to. Be motivation and inspiring, and they and they really had mommy, daddy money. They really had assistance, and that's cool. Yeah. I wish I had all that shit. That's a blessing. Like if I had it, I would be like, man, I'm glad I shout right. out to this person for helping me. Shout right. out to this person for helping me. Thank God I'm rich. But you know what I'm saying? Like I would openly say that shit. But a lot yeah. of these car people on YouTube, these uh, a lot of these vloggers, a lot of these prankster people, they grew up with the bag. They grew up rich. So it's like when they, when they do something, yeah, understand how they die, like and how they talk to their people. How can the people? This is how I look at YouTube. The people who watch YouTube are people like me, the, the people who are the have-nots. Right. And most people, the majority of people I feel like who are watching YouTube are the, are the have-nots like myself, growing up in like Mr. Organic, like my family. The people who have it, people who have a Bugatti ain't on there watching Bugatti videos. No. You know what I'm saying? They're too busy, you know what I mean? Trying to figure out how they gonna get the Pagani or the next Bugatti, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Yeah, or the next billion. Yeah, so the thing is when people buy these cars, like it might be crazy to them, but they were already rich before. They had a they had a Ferrari, I don't know, at 17, 19. Right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, how can they really relate to their people? Now, it's cool they got a lot of dope shit and they got a lot of dope content because of it. You know what I'm saying? But there's no real substance to me if you didn't really come from that. You know what I'm saying? Then it's cool if you're just doing car shit and you don't pretend like you come from nothing too. You in your own lane doing your own thing. You know, but for the people out there who be trying to pretend like that, you can hear in how they wish they talk, how they operate. You know what I'm saying? That they, it's not the same, man. Not at all. So it's not the same at all. So it's just iconic. Like when you see, yeah, you see, going. you see individuals like us climbing that mountain and you know making different plateaus every single time. You get, can't do nothing but salute it and, and applaud it. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Because we all we doing is going and growing right in front of your face. So my dog going to LA is legendary. You know what I'm saying? My Appreciate move, it, my move is next. I don't know about no damn LA. You know I got a different lifestyle. I live. But it's definitely gonna be out of Minnesota just Where for the growth. Where would you go if it wasn't LA? I don't know, man. Don't Everybody know. kept telling me Texas. Now see, let me say something on this video right here. Let's explain that. Everybody's been saying, go to Texas, go to Miami, go to Atlanta. Cool, all them places are dope. I've been there yeah. a bunch of times. All these places y'all talking about. 
but not one of those places are like LA. Yeah, it's all gonna be second. Like all of it will be second fiddle to, to uh, LA, regardless of what it is. No you know matter saying? where you go, it'll be second anywhere fiddle. Anywhere in the world, there's no place like yeah. LA. Yeah, period. Like my, my options for me that I like, I like LA too. Of course, it's top, but I like Atlanta because it got the entertainment culture. Absolutely, it got all the, the nigga they influences. Got, they got niggas like drip with us. Yeah, like us. yeah, they got that type of time, and I can have my. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like Phoenix, and I like I like Vegas too. You know what I'm saying? Because that's closer to the West Coast. I ain't rocking with Phoenix. <laughs> oh, yeah, you ain't rocking with Phoenix, I know. But Phoenix, you know, I got Stumpy Grimes there, my mom is there, my older brother there. And I can have the <laughs> Phoenix stand, zero chance. And uh, Vegas is, is close to LA. And I can. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And I can just drive back and forth. And even a flight would be nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's true. To LA. You know what I'm saying? But LA is just LA. Man. Yeah, I know LA is LA, though. You know what I mean? I don't know. So many opportunities, so many it's resources endless. there. It's endless. It's endless, yeah. For and it's sure. everything that, everything, everything you, you dream of, everything you, you thinking mm -hmm. about accomplishment, all your ideas are coming to life in LA, like snap of a finger. You know what I'm saying? So let me tell you something. The crazy part is, you're 100% right. But see, the difference between me and three, organic, is he's always wanted to do exactly what he's doing, right? Right. Me, safe to say, I never wanted to be like this, right? Never. It kind of just happened. Some of this guys playing. So mm -hmm. for me to be out here doing it now, it's just a business move. Like and I know, they, LA. Like I don't be doing all the shit three do. So I'm not really in the mix of doing all that shit like yeah. this. So personality wise, uh, you know, kind of how I am. It does fit LA, but I feel like a lot of people who go to LA are like people who be in the mix. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I don't like being in the mix. You know what I'm saying? Right. I like you know doing my videos. Straight and business. And then yeah, getting up out of there. You know what I'm saying? So. Going to LA for me is just purely for the YouTube. No, no question about it. You know, but I can just tap into so many different things here. I don't ever gotta worry about snow. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's just it's ideal for that's a buffet my business, shit. and that's YouTube buffet for sure. And I'm not saying Atlanta, Florida, and all them places wouldn't be dope. You know, it would be, but it's just not like LA. But it ain't. Yeah, it just ain't. It ain't the number one spot. You right. know what I'm saying if you're gonna go for it, go for the number one spot. And I fully understand that. So 100%. that's dope. It's definitely. The move you're making definitely motivated me to make my next move too. You know what I'm saying? Um, so that's how we do it, man. That's how we do it. We motivate each other. We don't compete with each other, we eat with each other. You know what I'm saying? 100%. When he do something, I do something. He do something, I, it ain't like I'm trying to outdo him, he ain't trying to outdo me. No, we just, if he can do it, I'm gonna do it. it ain't if he can do it, I can do it. No, if he, gonna, if he can do it, I'm gonna do it too. Let's keep going. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the, the type of life we live, so. Most people want to, you do this, I'm going to do this bigger. You got that, I'm going to, that's lame to me. If my dog doing it, that's dope. Nice. Okay, shit, let me see what I can do. I'm going to go up too. I ain't going to be sitting down here low with my nigga going up. <laughs> no, nah, nigga, shit, fuck that. Let's keep going. And that's how you push yep. each other to the top. You know yeah. what I'm saying? That's 100%. how you keep climbing. You got to have somebody to climb with you. Everybody everybody is is, is not capable and they're afraid yep. to make those leaps of faith and taking those climbs. Because the motherfuckers are scared, yeah, boy. Yeah, because you put one right, that made my fall, bitch, everything. You know what I'm saying? The whole mountain follow me. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I'm willing to let the mountain follow me, nigga. One of them, hey, it's one of them, it's one of them drops that's so damn high yeah. that you die in midair. Then yeah, you die from the breath going in the yeah. nose. Till your lungs are pop your lungs. Yeah, that's that first. drop. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. So. That's the risk you gotta take for greatness, though, Absolutely. man. Absolutely. Because once you get up to the top, you like, nigga, bitch. You get up there, get Makes it that much more legendary of a story, man. Yeah, yeah man. So that's there's so many times about. that we have these conversations where we where we push each other to do, to keep leveling up. Yeah. That y'all don't even Y'all never clue. see. Y'all don't even know behind the scenes. Like, this whole process, we was, I was back and forth with him the whole time. I'm like, man, you going, y'all know. The whole time talking to him every day, out there, like, man, you know what I'm saying? We thinking about that. Fuck it, bro. Huh? You know we having the deepest conversations because no, for sure. it's so real. Like right. it might seem like it is overnight or just you know what I'm saying abrupt to y'all, but trust well, is a no process. brainer for y'all. But yeah, it's a big process and and y'all and um, so we're doing that driver's seat though. It's, it's a, a different, different ball game, a whole for different sure. ball game. And the crazy part is, is people think like, oh, go to LA, no brainer, just go do it. Yeah, uh, yeah there's a lot of variables you got to think about. You know what I mean? There where things change. You know what I'm saying? Facts. And things that you got to think about. You know, but. When it comes to it, man, it's like sometimes we we, we think too damn much. You know it's all saying? about the do. Like I said uh, um, on my Snapchat, like I hate people having all these thoughts and all these ideas, but not doing. It's not all about the, it's all them. about the do. You know what I'm saying? Hundred percent. That's gonna take you from point A to point B. It's gonna take you from point A to point Z. That's the doing. All the ideas is cool. Fuck them ideas, man. Let's do it. And fuck whatever yeah, happened. What well, now, what you gonna do to bring it to, to reality? Yeah, yeah. And whatever happened to it, it was old. Like you can always go back to being ready. You can always go back to your to, to 
They have it nothing. What was I saying? They say the, the most uh, ideas, dreams is yeah, in, the, in the, the graveyard. In the graveyard. The most yeah. ideas, the most billion dollar, you know what I'm saying? Yep. Innovative shit is all in the graveyard, man. So You know what's crazy? I was talking to Mac Earth today about this shit, right? Shout out to my nigga Mac Earth. Yeah, shout out to him, man. Um, the crazy part is, is I was telling them, like, I get why people don't, why, why people just settle for mediocrity. For sure. I get it. Because yes. Honestly, if I'm just going to keep it true with y'all, it's much easier just to go to work and work a nine to five. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Because it is, whether you're going there, you're having a good day, you're having a bad day, you you're going to get check. paid. You got a check. Right. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to put no, you ain't got to take no leaps of faith and get this damn billboard over here to market your company. Hopefully it pays off your money. Nothing. You ain't got to do none of this kind of stuff. Nothing. You just got to go there and work and collect That's the it. bag. Yes. You ain't got to go in there with the best customer service. You yes. go in there and be you a, plan out everything. asshole with an attitude. Yeah, yeah, you can be on your phone all day. You don't collect the check. You know what I'm saying? The, the thing is with this shit, Ain't nothing guaranteed. No. And the, and the numbers fluctuate so All much. The time. What, how much you get paid one month versus the money you get paid next month. Yep. How many people watch this video versus the people who ain't watching the video literally the next day? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's just, yeah. Man, it's fucking crazy. And and honestly, the only thing you can control is your, yeah, it is it's big frightening. But the only thing you can control is yourself. It's how hard uh-huh. you go and just hope that it pays off. But your whole point is you gotta do your part, regardless mm-hmm. of the fact. Even if it don't pay off, you do something. You gotta move to the next you know what I'm saying? one. Yeah, we didn't spend hundreds of dollars on shit that it did absolutely nothing, you know what I'm saying? Well, we spent thousands of thousands dollars. Thousands of dollars. But that's part of, the, that's part uh-huh. of the grind. But that work is gonna pay off eventually. It's gonna pay off at the end. Uh-huh. So that okay. probably like, man, I didn't do nothing for me, but that work ethic is gonna trickle back. You just gotta keep going. You just gotta keep going. And that's a talent, God-given talent. Right. Man. Everybody ain't got that shit because a lot of people want that instant gratification. Why do mm-hmm. you think a lot of people don't go to the gym every day? Because they're not getting instant they results. They don't see it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You got to see the end vision, the end goal. Damn you know right. what I mean? Long before you're able to yeah, achieve it's not, it. It's not about, I tell you all the time, it's not about right now. It's not about, you know what I'm saying, tomorrow. It's about the end. Yep. How it's going to end up. A marathon, not a sprint. You know what I'm saying? I know plenty of people had all type of shit that end up bummy. Look at R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Burst and they couldn't get out on bail on 100,000, nigga. He made I believe I can fly. Come on, man. He didn't, he couldn't get out on Million dollar bill, only got to pay 10% 100,000 because he didn't have it. Damn, Damn, I didn't see that yet. So think about I that. Be on my yeah, phone. one of the most legendary dudes of all time. So really? you got to always factor in. King of R&B. You got to factor in, you know, the, the end game. You know what I'm saying? Just like the Avengers. Damn. End game, baby. Factor the end game. That's what it's all about. Yeah, man. So that's what we go. We're going to the top. You know what I'm saying? One loser draw. Nigga, we shooting for the motherfucking stars. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not the moon. You know what I'm saying? It's a billion stars. I'm going to get one of the bitches put it in my pocket. You understand me? Yeah. Dot com. You know what's crazy too is, remember even the track hog. Tell me about the track hog. That was crazy. They were long there. enough ago, so. Yeah they, yeah, they don't know, but we was in that office for like an hour. I was not trying to get that. No, I forget it. Take it back. I don't want it. You understand he got the allocation for free. They done built that joint from scratch from everything he wanted. <laughs> Them of over hundred something thousand. Say, they built oh, for that man shit, personally. Wait, I see that payment? Oh shit. And they showed him that payment. About two G's a month? Yeah, that oh. insurance. Shit. He was like, nah, I didn't want it. Like he was, was about to leave know. without getting it. Yeah, I was. That about to leave without getting it. But we just had to sit and think about it, man. This is this is what you do. This is my business. This is your business and, and so you're a person that goes top of the moot. Not only is it good for the channel, but that's your that's your brand, that's your integrity that you built your life off of is, is taking those leaps of faith. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna do it. Yeah, so he did it. And it paid off. So And the crazy part is is at the time, I had more than enough money yeah. to, uh, to be able to like, but the thing is, we, to be able to maintain and sustain it, but the thing is with YouTube, it just fluctuates so much. Yep. You know what I'm saying? I'm One month on. you get a damn million dollars, next month you get 500,000. You're yep. like, I wish, I wish I got that kind of money, but I'm just saying. Yeah. Hey, but that's how big it'll, it'll change up sometimes. Yep. So you guys just think like, yeah, okay, I might be able to swing it for this month, the next two months, uh-huh. but what about shit? One of them little drive routes, you know, everybody ain't tuning into the videos, everybody skipping the ads and versus watching the ads. Rebel Man, Rebel Man, where he at? Yeah. <laughs> no, I'm no, not. For real, though. Right. You know what I'm saying? But he did that. But I did it, though. And now? One it helped in the long run because yep. I ended up getting like over 60-something subscribers yep. when I got that truck. So obviously it did help. And people, whenever you look up Trackhawk, I did every video you could do with it. So right. it, was a, it was a good investment. But at the same time, had tons of negative equity. There's a lot of shit y'all don't know about y'all that never shit, know. That ain't your business. All yeah, right? 100%. But what it all boils down to is take those leaps of faith to be great. Well, take those leaps of faith with y'all, though. to be great. Shout out to my dog Slim Moon in L.A., man. You understand? Shake my hand. Comment below. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? 100%. Don't be afraid to be great. Be afraid to be normal. Oh, be, yeah, a, be, afraid, be afraid to stay the same. Yeah. You gotta have growth in this life, man. You should be afraid to have a dream and not pursue it. Motherfucking right, nigga. Go after that shit, man. Three of them said so. All right, okay. Slim Jim. LA, here I come, baby. Ooh, three of